In this video, I'm going to talk about datum reference frame mobility um, from bonus on datums with material conditions and a bit about simultaneity as well. So here we have a part. Uh, we have a datum A plane, we have a datum B hole, and a datum C slot. And we have a call out of a pattern of four holes here back to ABC. Now back in the, the old days of GD and T, there would be a special symbol here, an S in a circle for regardless of feature size, but because there's no maximum material condition or least material condition symbol, that's what's implied. So that means we have no bonus from the datums. There's no mobility. So what does it mean? Well, we have this tolerance zone of 0.05, so that means the center of these measurements need to lie within these. Um, datum B needs to be right on target. Datum C, um, you know, it's a distance from B. It's not going to be exact, so it needs to lie somewhere on this line, and this, this is a bit of an oversimplification, but it gives you the idea. So, for instance, here we have a measurement. This is a part measurement. Here's our measurement of datum B. Here's our measurement of at the location of the slot datum C. And here's our four holes. And this alignment to ABC in the DRF means we're going to put B right on B and C somewhere along that line of the slot. And if I can use my mouse here, let me try holding down a key. That helps. And you can see everybody got into their tolerance zone. This is a good part to this call out. Okay, well, here's part number two. Let's uh, M. Okay, so I'm going to hold down the Alt key this time, right off the word go, and drag that into position. So there I've aligned to uh, B and C, and we have features out of tolerance. This is a bad part. Now we have B at maximum material condition and C in maximum material condition. Well, that means when we align to A, B, C, we still put them on target, but then we have mobility given, and I've drawn this sort of, none of this is really to scale, but it's drawn based on the um, diameter of datum B being at nominal. Okay, at MMC here means there's the most material, that means the diameter is as small as it can get, that means seven. The, the tolerance is essentially zero at seven. So by the time we get up to 7.5, we have a tolerance zone of 0 0.5. And we could get all the way up to eight in size and have a tolerance zone of one. But here we have a tolerance zone or a mobile zone of 0.5 and, and ditto for datum C. So that bad part to the previous call out, him into position. Okay, he's still out of tolerance, but now these guys can move. These guys can move as long as I keep the datums in tolerance or within the zone, so I can move it that far. I can even rotate, but translating there, I've got everybody into their circle. So part number two is a good part to this call out. Well, take, let's take a look at part number three. Okay, so same process. We're going to drag it over and drop it so that we've aligned A, B, and C. And now our datum reference frame becomes mobile. And if I move it like I did before, uh-oh, I can't get those two guys to the left in. If I move it this way, uh-oh, I can get them in, but not the other two guys. Well, maybe if I rotate this, because I'm allowed to, to rotate it too, Kind of rotate it like that. There we go. Now, can I get everybody in? No, I cannot. Okay, so part number three fails because I can't simultaneously get everybody in tolerance. And that's the default for Y14.5 for ISO. And as a note to Y14.5, you can have this thing called separate requirement. Now, this is the default default for ISO GPS. And what does that mean? Well, that means that each feature acts individually and can take bonus individually. So it's as if 
we just measured um, datums B and C in one hole. Okay, so let's um, align to ABC and then get our mobile datum reference frame and yeah, yeah, we can get that guy in. And what about the next guy in the pattern? Okay, we can do that and he's out, but we can wake up our mobile datum reference frame here and oh yeah, yeah, we can just get him in. And what about the next guy? Same deal, align to ABC, wake up the mobile datum reference is pretty much in from the word go. And finally, the last guy, gal, I shouldn't be sexist, there, and then we wake up the, the mobile datum reference frame. And this time we have to go up and we can just get her in tolerance there. So that is a separate requirement. As I said, the default for ISO GPS, but the default for Y14.5 is to have a simultaneity requirement. So all features must be brought into tolerance at the same time by translating and rotating a mobile datum reference frame and all tolerance zones called out to that mobile datum reference frame simultaneously. Well, let's look at this chart here to summarize what we've just seen and what happens on what the measure device supports. The video walks through the effects are with the four conditions. Now, what we're talking about is if we have a, a reference frame where there's mobility and you if your uh, measurement device supports it or not, these four quadrants will give us an idea of what's going on. So let's take position one. We have an unsupported mobile reference frame. In other words, it's not able to calculate on those two things. Unsupported mobile DRF and unsupported simultaneity. When a tolerance datum reference frame, a DRF, has datums with material modifier, then the datum alignment is allowed to move within the datum bonus mobile DRFs, effectively allowing the tolerance zone to shift location. When mobile datum reference frames are not supported, the tolerance zone is locked into position and some parts which would have passed with the tolerance zone shift now fail. And two, we still scrap some parts and we have an unsupported mobile datum reference frame, but supported simultaneity. As in number one, when there is no tolerance zone shift, simultaneity is not an issue. Good parts may fail because of lack of datum alignment shift. So in the third case, we have supported mobile reference frame, datum reference frame, but unsupported simultaneity. In the Y14.5 feature control frames for position and profile, which share the same DRF, must be evaluated simultaneously. This means that a single datum alignment shift must be applied to all tolerance locations simultaneously. If simultaneity is not supported, then a shift in one direction may allow some tolerance to pass, but a shift in the opposite direction is needed to make other tolerance pass. A part passed with mobile DRFs, but no simultaneity may fail to assemble with mating parts. And finally, if your machine supports both mobile DRFs and simultaneity, then datum alignment shift from datum bonus is exploited while ensuring all tolerance are evaluated with the same shift. In other words, the parts are going to fit.